So this is like my brain hub thing. Why do I have locks on my own shit? <laughs> I don't want nobody to know what I did with Richard Simmons that night. <laughs> Going through people's shit again. Going through people's shit again. Going through people's shit again, but this time in their minds. Be here with our Kentucky bourbon whiskey. I want that. Entry one out of 10. I've been told by my doctor that keeping a journal about my workshop work all right, will be beneficial for my treatment, even at this early stage. This morning's workshop, I painted for the first time in around five years. My doctor was indeed right. I felt incredibly relaxed as I sat there in that light in that breezy room, brush on paper. That's what led to the game Layers of Fear. It reminded me of a time long ago when I used to paint professionally, drinking bourbon. I have struggled in remembering my most recent work, but I do remember that long ago I produced a painting that overlooked Pinwheel Harbor, tracing coastline on the way to St. Paul's Lighthouse. Something about that lighthouse. Lighthouses. Always something about lighthouses. A deep sense of inspiration was felt. Burp. When this memory was rediscovered like an old photo album in the attic. <laughs> Made me feel good again. Just like that one time I touched that one bitch. Welcome. Piss outside, please, because there's no bathroom inside. Get hey, check that out. <laughs> Matilda was here. Hey, at least I can play the piano just by looking at it. You got that right, got no fingers and toes, but I can still play a piano. Bitch, what you thought? Or pinwheels. <laughs> oh, it's the cramp. Oh, look at the moon. It's so big. Huh. Or is it Friday? What? The f what? Our last week of funding, well, I haven't got any usable results. I found this old letter this morning whilst I was sorting through all of your shit. Completely forgotten that we'd done this all those years ago. Fucked in a bed. Tried anal sex. It was passionate for me. I don't know why I'm writing this. You're gone now. I have to accept that. I have to. I wish you would have told me you had AIDS, though, bitch. Because now I fucking got it. But anyway, I'm 89. Oh my God. Just like motherfucking Magic Johnson. Got AIDS, still alive. Fuck AIDS. And can barely write properly. <laughs> no use to anyone without you. Everything here has changed. Especially my dick. Sometimes it spews green liquid. Aren't you a woman? I don't know. No matter what happens, I will never forget your radiant face. And even though old father's school was built over where we buried the capsule and shit, I still remember the code. Your fucking birthday. 9-11. I miss you so much, bitch. Remember all that much. I didn't think we'd get caught out in it today. Yeah, me neither. Well, rain's so subtle, it's, you know, not there. My dear Tom, of course I shall help you with your time capsule. It is wonderful and romantic and exciting. I also feel that the love that we have is different to all the other couples. You're 36, I'm only 14. <sighs> there are arguments and squabbles showing that we must have something you'll need. I've never felt this way about anyone else in the world. And I wish we could be with each other all of the time. Do you want to meet me this evening by the old oak tree? You remember where you trimmed my boots with your teeth? Down from the church and near the edge of the cliff? It would be a perfect place to bury your motherfucking ass. Bring the things you want to put in that box and shit. Love with all my heart. You do need better patty. Oh my god. My love, we have to do something together that can last forever. Some things 
someone in the future can find one day and understand the feelings that we have for one another. Fed up all that bullshit that people do when they date. You know what I'm saying? Go to their mama's house, fuck in the basement, had the remote control and dad's looking for it. Sick shit like that. I feel like we're different. That our love is deeper than the rest in some way. Something important. I thought we could create a time capsule of all the things that we hold dear for one another. You know, your vibrator, my pocket pussy. From letters to treasured items, buried somewhere special. I mean, you know, any fucking where. I, you know, somewhere that it'll remain safe for forever. What do you think? Right back. Tom. Um, told that fucking kid. Why, why they don't pick this shit up? See? Fucking. Ooh. Just leaving toys all over the fucking place. Bastards. That's why they all gone now. Sent them all to the fucking orphanage. Done cleaning up behind them little punks. Shit all in the bathroom. Don't play sugar in the fridge. I like I mean come on, see I gotta write notes like that. That pisses me off. <laughs> Silent try. Make sure you tidy and clean all the upstairs, motherfucker. Chet before I return from town. I need them spotless as we have Grandpa Joe. Ah coming and stay with us for the May Day festivities. Georgina. Could you please clean up all the pots in the fucking kitchen as well as mop the floor? I mean, why do you not mop the floor after you clean the kitchen? We'll be cooking for a bunch of motherfuckers and I want to cook hassle fucking free. Benjamin, just sweep the fucking hallway. Just sweep the fucking hallway. We'll be staying in the master bedroom tonight together. I know it's cramped, but we all have to make sacrifices for the comfort of others in this situation. Also, I'm sure that you let me know of any miss anything missing from your equipment. I'll be sure to beat the nigga downstairs. I hate that motherfucker. Why he stays downstairs, Mom. Story to be told here. Hey, thanks for locking up for me tonight. Not everybody just broke in and stole my shit, nigga. So I might as well just leave the password laying around. Fuck it. Fifteen thirteen. Can all staff please, God, take note that the following customers are currently barred from the Crow's Nest Pub. The last time I came in this nigga, they was sitting in the kitchen having a goddamn circle jerk in the beer cans. I'm not happy about that. Do not allow these disgusting motherfuckers to enter the premises till the bar is lifted. Forever. Jim Thompson was the worst. I caught him jacking off on the... Just don't let that nigga in. In five five whole years. Five motherfucking years. Lock the door and go to bed. I'm tired of saying that shit. So failure to retrieve the artifact is simply not an option. Well, you still ain't discussed my pay, so I ain't fucking worried about saving your life. Hey, can I just beat this motherfucker off with a hammer? No. That, no, that's too violent for this game. Dear Mr. Bell. Although I'm grateful for the extra income, I'm slightly worried about the damage you've done to my floor, motherfucker, while putting your cables under my shit. The floor looks really weak, like as in I can see the basement, and I'm nervous every time I have to carry something heavy over it, like my own fat ass. Anyway, I made the repair cable you asked for. It's only a temporary fix, but hey, I guess it'll do. We'll talk about the floor again soon. Like, real soon. Dear Aaron, my sleepless nights have now almost stopped. Thank God. Rolling sound of the boys at sea help me drift off every night and Poppy sleeps soundly at the foot of my bed next to my tubes. Yeah, he had a little motherfucker that bitch the other day. It's been difficult to continue blacksmithing in the same capacity as, you know, an old man. So many more repairs that I need to do for the locals that I'm just not quick enough to do in time. I mean, these niggas gonna need to do something else anyway. Mm, Wainwright kids been playing around the furnace and shit again they come down watch toy boat races on the river but I like to take excursions into my workshop I know I should lock my doors but then again that bitch need to whoop her kids for breaking into people's houses to play with fucking fire I know you and April sir neighbors with their parents so could you ask them to keep them motherfuckers out of my shit I just ain't got the energy to taste them little motherfuckers Good God, Bob. 
Fuck off, man. Like, he, he took a shit in the mines and it's all the way in town. Disaster. Mine collapsed. Kills 23. Yesterday, a terrible accident occurred deep within Brimcliff Mine, killing 23 of its workers. Bob took a massive shit. Killed everybody. A chilling explosion rang throughout the village. It could be heard as far away as Devlin. In a routine expansion of the tunnels deep underneath the surface, what should have been a general and safe explosion went terribly wrong when it detonated. Fuck. Causing a severe cave in. Trapped 23 niggas. The rock collapsed. Extended to the sea. Bed high above. Causing a chamber to flood and killing all who were inside. They drowned in all Bob shit. Reports that the warden, Mr. R. Burton, was incapacitated at the time and could not communicate with Mr. Remo, the evacuation officer. Have raised major concerns that this could have been prevented. Mm. Hi, Jan. All cashing up has been complete and the books have been filled out. I've replaced some of the stock on a shop, on the shop floor with our reserves and have ensured that our outgoing mail is ready for delivery. The parcel situation, however, wasn't pleasant. I know we hired Mr. Matthew as an attempt to aid us, but I feel that the work is still not getting done. He's a lazy son of a bitch. Even after the chat you had with him last week. <laughs> I told you not to hire this motherfucker. Anyway, though, I heard from Doris Farrell that he'd been in the crow's nest every night this week, chatting up Elaine Gregson. He in there trying to get his goddamn noodle wet and start doing some work. Bit brave if you ask me. I heard she was a bit of a bitch. I see you when I'm on. Phil. Phil? I just nipped out. It shouldn't be too long. Can you please make sure that you keep an eye on the counter for me while I'm gone? People are always trying to get into the damn cash register and it's starting to get on my nerve. That's why I'm sick of living in a city where everybody lives around every fucking corner. Matthew is upstairs sorting through the parcel backlog that the bank holiday has caused. <sighs> Told me it was taking him a lot longer to go through because of the weird and heavy equipment that Mr. Bell had been ordering from London. Apparently, the fella ordered a whole boatload of shit relating to the boys and the church bells. Try for strange if you ask me, but hey, each their own. Anyway, see you later, Chan. Well, check that out. Andrew was the oldest brother and the most mischievous by far. Something tells me he was a giant angry ogre. I guess I'll keep looking around town to figure it out. I wonder how many fish they'll catch yesterday. I wonder how many fish they'll catch yesterday. Is that me or is that just terrible fucking grammar? I can't stress to you how much I'm relying on you to succeed. I can't stress I how much you get on my fucking nerves. We simply can't miss this deadline. Okay. You're the rest. I understand. I'm going to let your ass way the fuck down if you don't tell me what's going on. Or where my goddamn money is. Bitch still ain't told me when I'm getting paid. Huh. Alright, fat man. I'll fix your floor. I'll fix it real good. This nigga here. This is, a, that's why he used to come in here and steal all this shit. That's why they tried to keep that nigga out. Cause he was just stealing beer from the fucking basement. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 